Well, she's a four-time undefeated boxing world champion, fitness and wellness advocate, host of the show Homemade Simple on the OWN Network, author, mother, and the daughter of boxing legend, the late Muhammad Ali. Layla Ali joins us now to share how she keeps it all together and gives her best tips for a happy, clean home this spring. Layla, what's your strategy for tackling spring cleaning? Good morning, you're getting right into it. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. Yes, it is time to do that spring cleaning and for me it's all about getting the whole family involved, kids and all. Wonderful, well are there any tips that you have for freshening your home this time of year? For sure, what I like to do is just not wait until the last minute, you know, do it all throughout the year. So I like to take 15 minutes at the end of each day and keep things organized. Also getting rid of items that you don't need. I like to keep two bins in my garage and we're always putting things in there to donate and whenever we get something new, get rid of something. Like I already mentioned, getting the kids involved. I like to have a chart and assign chores for my kids and I like to reward them when they help around the house. And of course, having products that work. Um, I'm so excited to help launch the new line of plant-based cleaning products by Homemade Simple at Walmart. So that's definitely something that you wanna have on hand because they really work. Well, clearly you're doing so much. I have to ask, how are you balancing everything? You know, it's all about um, putting your priorities in order. I'm very busy, as you, as you mentioned, some of the titles that I have, but first of all, first and foremost, I'm a mom, and I like to make sure that I'm hands-on with my kids and I'm having, you know, uh, an environment that's fun and safe for my children. Okay, I have to get the deets now. How often are you actually working out and cooking at home and living this balanced life? I actually cook five times a week. That's something that I'm wow. super passionate about. That's why I have my cookbook, Food for Life. Um, working out uh, definitely at least four times a week, but um, sometimes as a busy mom, you have to choose between sleep and working out. So of course I, I choose sleep over working out when I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. So you mentioned your cookbook called Food for Life and your kids are young. How are you instilling the importance of good nutrition in their daily lives? That's not always easy. It's not easy um, because there are so many outside sources that they see of things that they want. And it's okay to have them, you know, some of the time, but 80% of the time, you know, is what it's really about. And for me, it's leading an example um, through the way that I prepare meals for them, what I'm packing in their lunch boxes, what I'm teaching them on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's really holistic for me, from the food that we eat to the products that we use, just choosing um, things that are healthy for my children and healthy for the environment. Yeah, we just said earlier on the show that living your life by the best example is the best example that you can give to your children. Can you tell me uh, what's your family's favorite go-to dish in that cookbook? I would definitely say tacos. We have Taco Tuesday every <laughs> week. I like to switch it up and, yep, and my, what I like to do is I sneak veggies in, into my tacos. So what makes them difference is, is, is that, you know, I'll ground up, um, you know, turkey and then put in some zucchini, you know, take the skin off, peel it down. You can put it in the blender or you can put it in a food processor and it goes undetected. So just saute it in there with the meat. My kids love it. Yeah, is there one particular tip that stands out to you? Because you seem so organized and put together, but we know it's not always like that behind the scenes. Is there one particular tip for moms that you want to give them? I think that is very overwhelming when you think of all that we have to do, and that's why I said earlier it's really important to have a system in place, um, taking it day by day. And for me, it really helps to just get organized, get my thoughts together, you know, at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day, putting things in their place, putting them where they, where they need to go. Um, and then that way it just helps keep you organized. Yeah, and we talk about living a good life. We know your father passed in 2016, but what did he teach you about living that well-balanced life? My father taught me to just always um, never step on others to get ahead, and that's something that I, I do every day as I stay focused on that, is being the best version of myself by also lifting others um, along the way. So, and that's the best thing I feel that I can do as an example, not only to my children, but as a role model to the world. Yeah, yeah, we're showing pictures of your father now and pictures of when him supporting you while you were boxing, when you were boxing, specifically winning. Um, when you told your dad that you wanted to follow in his footsteps and become a boxer, what was his reaction? 
He initially wasn't very happy about it. He tried to talk me out of it, and uh, of course that didn't work. So he supported me through my career, and he was very happy that um, you know I stayed undefeated in the ring. He's happy about the way that he was happy about the way that I carried myself outside of the ring. Um, and just like my father, I never get involved or behind anything that I don't truly believe in. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here talking to you today about the new homemade simple products. I'm not only the host of the Homemade Simple TV show that comes on every Saturday, but I'm super excited about these plant-based products that they're launching at Walmart because they're something that I actually use in my, in my own home. And um, if you've followed me for years, you would know that I'm all about living a holistic lifestyle, you know, all the way around being healthy through the products that you buy, the foods that you eat, working out, you know, so that's something that I'm really proud to be a part of. Yeah, well, you have done so much, um, including reality TV. You went far on Dancing with the Stars. Are you still dancing? Uh, well, you know, I do a little dancing here and there, but not ballroom dancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Let me just say, you look good. You look absolutely amazing. So you deserve all the kudos there. And you were also on Celebrity Thank Apprentice. You. If you could pick any reality show to be a part of today, what would it be? Uh, that's not really my thing I'm not thinking about right now. Um, the reality shows that I were, was on were like some of the top shows. Obviously, when I retired from boxing, Dancing with the Stars gave me an amazing platform with 40 million viewers every week. I went to the finals. Um, you know, Celebrity Apprentice was another one that I did with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, you know, but there's a lot of shows out there, but that's not really my goal to be a reality star. I'm quite happy hosting Homemade Simple. It keeps me busy. I, the show comes on every Saturday, and I have the opportunity to work with with families to help improve their lives, giving them simple, easy tips for their homes and cooking um, healthy meals with them. So that's really what the Layla Ali lifestyle brand is all about and um, happy doing it. Yeah, and your brand, it does so much outreach into the community and of course helping and supporting families, specifically women. What do you learn through all of that outreach? Well, I learned that we all pretty much are all about the same thing. We want to have a safe place for our family. We want to put food on the table and we want to progress in life. Um, so that's really what it comes down to. So anytime that I can offer insight or advice to help people be the best version of themselves, that's what I want to do. Layla Ali, I have to say, it is such an honor to be speaking with you to talk about some of the life hacks that you're sharing with us today and to talk about some of the influence your father has had on your life as well. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for having me on. You take care. You too. Well, you can find these homemade simple products at your local Walmart or visit walmart.com.